I missed these beautiful giant puff balls because I was sick and now they're on their way down and they have been for about a week. Um, when they are fresh, it is my favorite food. I'd rather eat a grilled puff ball than a filet mignon. But look at this, look how big it is. This thing's amazing and they popped up um, maybe one of the blessings from Helene, if there are any, other than awareness, is that it blew a bunch of mushroom spores here because I haven't had a good forage of any edible mushrooms from morels to these giant puff balls or any puff ball you can eat if you slice it open and it's white. If it's black, it's poisonous. So they will come in all sizes and shapes. This one. It's out of my head. Get that beauty and it's squishy now and you know it's imploding if you will to its spore state. Now probably the mule knocked it over or a turkey. The wild turkeys like to eat these. There you can see. Some wild turkey bites. Anyway, the other thing that the giant puffball, gigantus, whatever in Latin, which is sad because I took Latin for a lot of years, but my parents didn't realize I couldn't add, so that's why I couldn't be a doctor. Um, but during the Battle of Antietam in Maryland, the Mason-Dixon line pretty much, they were farm fields in one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War. And they were running out of bandage material because of all the casualties. So all in the farm fields were giant puffballs like these, which they sliced into pieces to use for pressure bandages. They discovered that day, and probably ancients knew it, that the puffball is a coagulant. So applied to a wound, it will stop bleeding. And I mean, I had to try it when I sliced open my ankle couple years ago when I was out in the woods put the puffball on it was a pretty good cut that required stitches bleeding stop so got these in your yards you're lucky got these in your fields you're blessed